Are we... Uh, it's here. Look at what is happening on the screen right now. Did you see that? Look at that robot. That's a, yeah, yeah. No, I remember that from Star Wars, by the way. Yeah. I think, like... A little bit of, little bit of creative license. So, I think I think these, these yeah, Super Star Wars games came out, like... No, we're good. I think they came out, like, one year apart from each other or something. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I These seem to me like... It's like the epitome of a game that probably has a bunch of cool stuff in it. Yeah. That you just never, you'll, you'll never, never see it because it's, it's too hard. Because they were like, let's make a game that's impossible. Then ne people will never get sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do, now, do we need to read the whole text crawl or do you think we get it or? I don't know. Oh, this is the Empire Strikes Back is what this one is. Oops. You can't skip it. Oops. You're not allowed to do that. We gotta reset. Can we at least do it for ones that are just word for word the same ones from the movies? Yes, you're, yes. fine. Deal. Jake. Okay. If it's word for it, you can go. Hey, everybody pause. Everybody pause. Go, go Google the text, the go text Google crawl the text for text Empire crawl. Strikes Back. That's exactly right. Google the text crawl for yourself. Read that. Unpause. Come back. For those that are watching live, this is I'm nice. Sorry, but Kyle's I like this. For you. This, this is looks good. This is good. That's snow. Wrong, That's good. wrong music though. And look at his lightsaber is longer than his body, and it's so thick too. I think it looks great. Though. But I yeah, I'll say this. Uh, this this obviously has a leg up from Super Star Wars for the fact that you have a lightsaber from the beginning. Yeah, not Super they Star Wars' they didn't even fault. Mess around like they were just like give it to him. Yeah. Well, not not Super Star Wars' fault, because Luke doesn't have a lightsaber at the beginning of Star Wars. But he doesn't use it. No, but he doesn't even have it at the beginning. No, sorry, sorry. I meant in in Empire Strikes Back, he doesn't use. He's not like using. Yeah, the he cuts. O he cuts open. He he cuts up the Wampa. He. Uh, I mean, Han uses it to cut open the Tauntaun. That's true. And then Luke uses it to cut open but the like, bottom of the ATAT. This, this is pre Wampa. We don't know. No, he's in his uh, suit. Oh, you're right. Well, then this is the. I don't what know. What is this? No, you're right. This is pre Wampa. You're right. Thank you. Hey. I, thank you. You're welcome. I'm not. Listen, Keith. You're wrong about the text crawl thing, but I'm not here to just shoot down everything you say. When you're right, you're, you're right. right the text crawl thing. So we went over your coming to Star Wars oh, last sure. time. Oh, sure. Yeah. Do you want to talk about mine? It's not a, as good of a story, but it is, I think, bizarre. Okay. Right. Um. Though, uh, oh, wait, out, real, real quick, I'll say this, though. Uh, your mom. past him, Star Wars. It's, it's Silent Hill. Good point. Uh, I, I rented I rented uh, the other Star Wars movies after seeing the first one on TV, but your mom was the one who bought the trilogy for me. Oh, wow. Though, uh, maybe her fault that she bought the special edition, so. No, the special edition's fine. Yeah, you're right. It's fine. It's better. I think the special... Hey, cards on the table. I think the special edition... Of Star Wars is probably the best cut of you, those movies. You know what? Yeah. I, I, there, uh, back when uh, the new one was coming out, the, the, the Force Awakens was coming out, I yeah. rewatched the other Star Wars mm -hmm. and uh, I formed some like very detailed and specific opinions on why I didn't think the special editions were a problem, but I don't really remember most of you why. You know what? We've talked about this before in other contexts, but this yeah. is probably the most uh, appropriate... My, my Tauntaun's <laughs> fucking yeah, it's dead. already dead. It's the most <laughs> appropriate venue, and now I don't remember any of my opinions. I think that I can remind you, because we have talked about this before. Okay, go ahead. Here's the thing. When when you talk about... When, so here's the, the fatal flaw of every Star Wars... Um, uh, every Star Wars, I guess, remastering... Um, the thing that the thing that look at people, this move. The thing that people cannot I want, stand. Yeah, this this one is that George Lucas takes it upon himself, single-handedly, no help, to to <laughs> to ruin their childhood. No, no, to add co like comic relief to the yeah, background yeah, yeah. of scenes. Now, super, uh, super sorry. That Star doesn't Star actually edition, happen that much. It, if you watch the first edition. And then the most recent edition, like the original theatrical cut, and the most recent, th each time he adds different little fucking jokes into the background, and it's always bad. 
Oh, pretty Wait, much all. Can you give me some examples besides like the robot that hits the little robot uh, in Mos Eisley? Yeah, there's like some. T- there's like there's a ton of stuff in Mos Eisley, but there's like a tauntaun thing that happens. There's a lot. I'll say this: a lot of it is Mos Eisley stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, but. And then the then the special edition has like the one other big thing, which is that they put in a CGI Jabba that looked gar- like garbage. Oh yeah. And here's the thing: like when I was seven, I didn't understand that they had been remade and re-released. Same. Yeah. So I saw that Jabba and was so confused because I was like, I'm seven years old. I have no concept of time or the evolution of technology, but I'm pretty sure they couldn't do this in 1977. Yeah. Um. See, I was younger than you when I saw it, so that did, that never even occurred to me. Um, I actually didn't know until like I, I was probably uh, like in my late teens. I didn't well, I had no idea that Jabba didn't exist in the original. Here, well, until uh, until the until new Jedi. one. Here's how stupid I was. Though. No, I mean he wasn't in the movie in, until until, the until the third one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. God, I did that again. Yeah. Here's how stupid I was though. When you watch the special edition on VHS, it opens with like a ten minute thing about what they did to remaster the film, and they talk about how they made Jabba with the computers and they painted it. And I was still watching it like I I don't understand how they did this in the seventies. <laughs> like I was just so yeah, dumb. Kids don't pay attention. They were yeah, I, fidget spinners. It's a mess. I was probably just playing with my fidget spinner. You're right. Um. No, so the so the thing is, and I have a hard time remembering this conversation because again, it was a long time ago that we had this. But the a lot of the stuff that they added is like, oh, instead of let's just like make better ship models. Ah, right? like that was a huge that was a huge part of it. it was like let's yeah. make the space Dude, stuff not I, look like shit on strings. Let's yeah. add more blaster fire to stuff. And it, the analogy that I think that I use is it's like when you play it's like in it's like Halo games where people go like. Halo looks the fucking same, like the same as the last one. It looks like, but yeah. really, what's happening is they're recreating their art style with higher quality graphics, but in a way that feels like the, the, the way that yeah. it looked the first time you saw it. And I think that that's what the Star Wars remakes try to do and fail at a lot of times, but generally make the movies more watchable. Is they make a movie from 1977 or whatever? Yeah look like a movie that makes sense to watch in the 90s. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I, I... I totally get... Like, oh, it... Hold on, sorry. What's up? There's some audacity. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, wait. Did you just leave the mouse on there, though? Oh, okay. <laughs> Keith, you've got some audacity, and you're <laughs> showing it to everybody right now. Uh... I mean, you, everyone, everyone's going to have, uh, you know, their own biases based on their own experience and, yeah. like, how they, how they grew up with Star Wars and stuff. So, like, obviously, I get why people who saw the original Star Wars in the theaters only want to watch that one and they don't want to watch the special edition. And obviously, like, I, we're kind of predisposed to not really thinking the special editions are that bad because that's, that's what I had when watched, I yeah. grew up. Uh, well, but the, the most of my... I'll say this. The first time that I saw Star Wars was the special edition of VHS, but the my the most that I have seen Star Wars mm. was the DVD release, which was even more remastered. Yeah. Than so so my so I so the one that I that I saw first is not really the one that I grew up with. And so I prefer the one yeah. from the, the, the VHS release to the DVD release. For me, I saw the originals first. Uh, but that was that represents seeing it once or twice each, and then getting my own copy of the special editions and watching those a million times. Yeah. But the DVDs actually, specifically, like, okay, so yeah, like every time they've re-released the movies, they've changed it a little bit and a little yeah. bit. So we're talking about it like it's two versions. There's actually like eight different versions. There's eight different versions. Each version. But take the, something, pr- takes a practical effect and makes it a special effect yeah. or a, a visual effect or whatever. Yeah. The, I, and, I, or add some CG to the background that was never there. I actually think those DVDs are like by far the worst versions. Worse than the Blu-ray versions? Definitely. Because okay. there's actually like errors in, in it. Like when whenever there's uh, scenes with um, like ships in space, it'll do this insane thing where, where like... noise? That happens in all of them. No, it's it's. <laughs> oh, guys, okay, I hear yeah. say. Okay, got it. 
I thought you meant visual noise. No, no, no. No, it's, it'll be like the parts that are just empty space with stars looks like really black, but then around like a TIE fighter, say, there's like a gigantic square that looks more sepia toned than black and the square follows the TIE fighter. Yes. And it, it's just that. like, I can't believe anyone watched the DVDs and went like, yeah, we can sell this to people. Yeah. Uh, they added these full screen magenta flashes during all gun battles that just make it like nauseating to watch. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's really unfortunate. I was like so bummed out when I watched it. Yeah, and I, I was not bummed out when I watched it because it's, I was like a kid. The menus were fucking them. awesome though. I got them, yeah, and they, you know, and everybody loves the fucking little documentary it comes with, which is great. Uh, yeah, I did, yeah um, I did also. Shadows really like of, that. no, not Shadows of uh, Empire. Empire of Dreams. Yes, Empire of Dreams. I rewatched it recently for the hundredth time and went like, you know what, actually this is not as good as I remember, but. You know. Well, it blew my mind when I was 12. Or yeah, something. sure. Me too. Um, ah, fuck this. I'm done with this. Done with this. You do. So, but now I have to I have to do this and finish telling my fucking story. Um so the first time I I I did a Star Wars thing was actually um a video game. It was Dark Forces 2. My dad uh. is this weird lunatic that doesn't like video games, yeah. but does like Buying technology Do, does like them as a benchmark for technical. Right. So he'll you know. he will he would do this thing and still kind of does this a little bit where he'll he would build himself a computer and then go like, well, does it work right? And then we'll try to get video games to run on it. Um, and so it was just like the family computer, and it had I was like seven. Oh, you it, just talked over Yoda, dude. I'm sorry, Yoda. Um. And so I just played through the first level of Star Wars Dark Forces like 8,000 times as a kid. Sure. Because I was like, this is fucking cool as shit. <laughs> There's all these robots, and I'm a I robot guy, and I think, I think I'm... I thought that I was Han Solo yeah. for years, because I, I, I didn't remember the game. I just have these really vague memories of it. And, and I knew who Han Solo was, even though I never saw the movies. Um, so I was like fucking so into that first... Like the first... 40 I minutes of that game is all that I could get through as a kid. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I've ever actually played Dark Forces 2. I've definitely played like every other Dark Forces game. Dark Forces is the 2 is the best of those. Well, but... Um, and by the way, the Dark Forces games... Uh, God damn it. You're a little biased, let's say. No, it's not true. The, well, because there's, there's four, four of them. There's Dark Forces, Dark Forces 2, and then uh, Jedi Aca it's, Outcast and, and Jedi Outcast. Yeah, it's... So, it's it's... It's complicated. It is it, the, they the, split title, the, brand. the titling is almost delicious and how delicious to me and how crazy it is. It's yeah. Dark Forces, Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knight, then Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast, and, and then, then just Jedi, Jedi, Jedi Academy. Yeah. yeah. Or Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Yeah, Jedi Knight 3 Jedi Academy. No they, 3. No, no 3, is, just Jedi Knight. Are you sure it's yes, three? Yes, I'm okay. positive. Oh, you motherfucker bat. You motherfucker, bat motherfucker. I yeah, think so you play through. you play the first three as Kyle Katarn, and then yeah. Academy you, you play, play as, as as a custom character, as a custom as a student of Kyle Katarn's. Yeah, who teaches you all about how there's no such thing as uh, light side and dark side force powers is all how you use it. In in a game that. Uh, actually divides all force powers in your in your in the interface of the game right. into light side. Well, and dark it's because side. it's a game about the Jedi, and so it carries with it the biases that Jedi bring to oh, the table. Oh, I see. But Kyle Katarn is there to go like, "Hey, don't fall for this game's bullshit. It's not about that." God damn it! Everyone hates this. I uh, I always uh, very good checkpointing in this game, by the way. <laughs> I love how the, the little ditty doesn't finish properly. Um, oh, so then should it was we, like... Should we be done with this? Mm, I have to finish telling my story that you keep interrupting. Can we switch to Return of the Jedi and make it part of the same video? No, I'm close to done. Oh, okay. Um, shit. So 
Play, played Dark Forces, really loved it. Literally lost what it was called for years and didn't, oh, okay, didn't realize yeah. what game. Like, I searched for the Did game. Did you know that it was a Star Wars game? I knew it was a Star Wars game because okay. I thought that I was playing as Han Solo. I had no idea. Like, I just right. like, didn't know what was happening. I just kind of knew about what Star Wars was. I knew that it was a Star Wars game, and I thought that I played as Han Solo. And so as the years went by, I would just like periodically try to figure out what game I was, which it didn't help that I kept going like, uh, Star Wars game, you play as Han Solo. Um, and then eventually figured out what it was. But that was like the mid 90s, mid to late 90s. And it wasn't until like episode, what? <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't until <laughs> it wasn't until the Phantom Menace was being released that someone was like, "Hey, oh, there's like okay. a bunch of movies that you can watch of this." And so, sort of at the same time, I started reading the um, Star Wars Obi Wan, Star Wars Padawan, like Obi Wan prequel uh, to um, Episode One, Episode One, and also going through and watching my cousin Ted's copies of. Uh, uh, four, five, and six. Gotcha. Uh, and it fucking just like me. I was just like, this is all I've ever wanted was to to actually watch the movie of the thing <laughs> I've been playing forever. No one ever like uh, like it didn't occur to me to that, ask, and no one ever offered. Like I didn't. Yeah. No, I was a kid. I was like set like when right. when episode one came out. I was only like seven. Yeah. Wait. No. Yeah. You it were ninety nine. I was seven. Oh, I thought it came out ninety eight. Okay. No. That's possible it came out in 98, but I'm pretty sure it's 99. You're probably right. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here's me winning the game and defeating everyone in the game. Okay, go ahead. Win the game right now. I feel like we have it's, to get out of the first level, right? Like we have Yeah, to, right. Like, I... it's such a bummer to be like, this game is so busted. And enter okay. cave, enter cave, enter it, enter it. I think I saw what's in the cave and it's nuts. How to enter cave. Oh man, I didn't expect this. How to enter cave. <laughs> there was a secret final boss. Okay. Wait, try pushing oh. oh. It was up and B. Got it. I was that was I was actually about to suggest that. Get out of here, spine dog. Uh oh, shit, I lost what I was saying. I did I lost my audio. There we go. Wait. Keith, what was I talking about? Um, episode one came out in 99. Oh, okay. I wanted to say, uh, what was interesting... What? I, when I was on this tear about learning about the differences between different versions of, uh, Star Wars, I found out that there were actually significant... Well, I... Significant is maybe subjective, but some... You can be Possible subjective. significant differences just between the stereo and mono mixes of the original theatrical releases because they like did the stereo mix first but like the vast majority of theaters at the time were still mono and so they did that second and like added or changed a bunch of things about like do you remember the fire breathing sound? team of wampas i do remember in? that actually yeah i have to pause it my cord is like i'm losing audio and it makes it harder for me to play I think ultimately, I don't r really think it matters what version of Star Wars you watch, but what I would love is for them, like, I think also what pisses people off about the whole thing that we haven't mentioned is, like, George Lucas ch constantly changing his Ooh. movies and then not re-releasing the older versions. Yeah. But I would love to get a Star Wars collection that's like, here's all eight different versions of A New Hope. Like, I want that collection for, like, lunatics, basically. Yeah. I want I want the stereo mix, I want the mono mix, I want the laser disc, I want the the VHS, I want the VHS special edition. I'm frozen. I died. Well, we got to love part two. We did it. We did it. I think I have to go. We finished the fight. How, ah, uh, Keith, I can't go until we talk about how much Tetris I've been playing. Okay, let's talk about that. I've, the whole past week, I've been playing like hours of NES Tetris every night. Why? I've, been, I've seen the tweets, by the way. You got 2 million points and went to a spaceship. I saw that. 200,000. Keith, you can't get a million points. It 
tops out at 999,999. Oh, I forgot. They didn't didn't invent numbers that high. They didn't invent... Yeah, they didn't... It was actually that... NES Tetris was what made people realize, oh, we need numbers that go higher than than 999, 999. Yeah, it's not going to do it for us. I've been playing a lot of Heroes of the Storm. I'm talking about my Tetris. How much more is there to say? Tetris is a game about... Is about one shape configured into four other shapes. Five I was uh, I was playing Puyo Puyo Tetris, and I went on YouTube to try to find videos about how to be better at Tetris. Uh, the real answer is they don't really exist because there's no like secret strategy to Tetris. You just have to get better at it. Yeah, you just have to keep doing it. But that made me find uh, uh, videos of the final rounds of the classic Tetris World Championships from recent years of yeah. people playing NES Tetris at super high competitive levels and I found that almost shockingly fun to watch like I thought that would be super dumb and boring but it was actually kind of fun that's cool and so then I started playing NES Tetris and now now I'm so into NES Tetris like I refuse almost to play Puyo Puyo Tetris do you know that it's the same game it's actually pretty different impossible okay it's the same one shape configured into five different sure. shapes. Uh, and that, that got me to, to finally get around to watching Ecstasy of Order, which is the Tetris documentary that I had been putting off watching for years because I thought would be really boring because it's a documentary about Tetris. But it was actually really fun to watch and it ended up being like essentially the story of the creation of the classic Tetris World Championship that I found on YouTube. So that was kind of interesting. That was kind of interesting. Ecstasy of Order Four is a fun times narrative. Point bonus. You cannot stop me. Oh shit! All right. Well, that's it. Just uh, hours of playing Tetris with the music turned off with uh, Annie up by MOP on loop. Is that true? Yeah. Why are you still listening to that? Uh, I brought it back because I I realized that I I probably needed to learn how to like get into a Tetris groove and like zone out and not think too much about what I was doing. So I put on music, and I I thought that that would be, like, a good song to get me in the groove. You know, it's not that that's the song. It's that that's the only song. I just really fucking like that song a lot. I mean, listening to it on on loop for hours definitely got kind of old. But, uh, yeah. I just, I remembered, like, just not don't fight it. What? I realized, hey, I don't have to fight them. I can just run away. For sure, yeah. I don't know if you'll get to the Wampa fight, but the demo, like when we turned on the game, it just went. It showed something that seemed like an ice cave, so I guess it would have was to be the, the Wampa those, fight. Were those Wampas it, I was fighting not the Wampa fight? No. Like, this thing that I saw was like what? a... Excuse what? me? What? It was like a... It was almost like the Andross fight in Star me. in Star Fox. That's not fair. Did you see that? I think you're supposed to go up there. But it was it was like it was bringing me up there inconsistently and then when I was close to the edge it like dragged me on the edge and I died. What are these people in the chat talking about? Man, I never know. 